Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you are doing good. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Komal. I create art and craft videos. I would be really happy if you could subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. You can buy my artworks if you wish to. I'm active on Instagram as well. You can check out my work there. I will put the link in the description box. So as you have already read the title that I'm going to make a coaster this time, all you need is a wooden coaster, some brushes, acrylic colors, gesso and varnish. You must be wondering what is gesso. Gesso is basically a primer. So let's get started. Okay so I have wet my brush a little for the better application. Okay, um, this is white in color. You can get clear gesso also. Okay, so this is how it will look when you put on the gesso. Now wait for the gesso to get dried and then we will continue painting the coaster. Okay, the primer has dried now. So let's start painting it. I'm taking black acrylic color mm -hmm. By the way guys, do you like to paint with your hands also? Like my, mostly my paintings are incomplete if I don't use my hands. Let me know in the comments if, it, if the same happens with you. Okay, so since we are painting a coaster, we need to paint each and every area of the coaster. The sides, the front, the back, everything. I will paint the front only in front of you. Okay, tell me about <clears throat> yourself. I would love to know about you. Where are you from? What is your name? 
what are you passionate about okay so we have painted it black now we will wait for it to get dried because of the lighting it looks very uneven but it's even actually so it has dried now by the way i have spoiled this if it happens with you too it's okay because we will paint the daisies on it and it will be covered i'm taking white acrylic color by the way white is my favorite color which is your favorite color let me know in the comments okay so i am taking this size 00 brush okay so let me zoom in don't dilute the paint otherwise you will have to apply another coat of the paint Okay so you can um smoothen the surface also like this petals but i think um this uneven surface will give 3d look maybe you will need to be very patient while working because these little little detailing will look really good if you make it with patience
so it's done guys the petals are done now i will make the leaves and stems for the stems we will use sap green Okay, so I'm gonna wash off the paint from my brush and now we will make the stems. it's not visible on the camera but you can see the stem i'm gonna use um the mixture of yellow and green so that it will highlight it's time to make the leaves for the leaves i'm going to add more yellow to the sap green 
because we want them to be highlighted. Now we need to mix permanent yellow deep. with the lime yellow.
Oh my god. It's finally done, guys. Oh, I, I left this. Isn't this so cute, the small one? Very cute. Yeah, so this is how it looks. guys so finally it's done like almost done because we just need to varnish it you must have noticed that I have painted the other sides also now let's varnish okay I'm gonna put a lot of varnish this flat brush okay, so this is how you will varnish the other sides also and um, you need to apply at least two to three coats of varnish otherwise just single coat of varnish won't be uh, long lasting guys this is the final product and it's all varnished now let me know about your opinion in the comment section i would love to hear from you if you wish to buy this or get some customized products you can email or dm me on instagram the email id and instagram link will be in the description box you can check it out and please don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs> bye